With the walls traced, we can now push pull to extrude the walls and the openings on the second floor. Before we do that, let's just delete the guides that we have in the model. Remember, it's edit, delete guides. It's going to remove all of our guides. Now the walls are 107 inches towards the master bedroom, and the whole rooftop actually slopes down towards the back of the house. For our purposes, let's just push the exterior wall up to 107 inches. We can double click on this face here, push pull that wall up, double click here as well, double click here. Take the select tool and just select the inside face here and press delete. That's going to give us the start of our opening here. Now the hallway closet here, let's take the select tool, pre-select these edges. And that one too. Remember we created that little three lines there. Take the offset and offset this five inches and then push pull to bring the wall up. This wall here for the closets, let's just push this up. We're not going to worry too much about the detail in there. We're just going to add three doors to the front of this. For the windows here, another way that you can extrude the faces here to create the window openings is by push pulling this first distance, which is 36 inches. Let's repeat it here, 36, double click. And now for the opening, push pull plus option on a Mac or control on a PC. See how it brings up that little plus sign again? If we push pull this up 51 inches, that's our window size opening. Do the same thing here. See how it deactivates? Click it back on with option or control and push this up all the way. That's another way that we can essentially trace out our window openings. And now we can just push pull this through, double click, and then of course take the eraser and just do some cleanup here, just to clean up some of our edges. Now it will create those on the front as well, so let's erase those. And the house is coming along. We've got our second floor. We'll deal with the gap here in a little bit. We need this doorway here. Let's draw this door another way. What we've done here is we've created the opening and I forget how wide this was. So let's take the measurement. We can see it's 34 inches. So we would need to draw a line two inches and then two inches and then draw our rectangle. Or another way we could do this is draw our first guide, the tape measure tool, two inches. Then take the rectangle tool, start at that intersection, click once to start your rectangle. And now as we draw the rectangle, notice in the value control box our distance. What we want to do is type in the width first and then the height. So let's type in 30, 78 and press enter. That's going to give us our opening so that we can now just push pull till we intersect should be five inches. Now it does leave that little line there and that's okay. If we want, we can erase that. We'll erase this line here. For this doorway, it's the same height, but we're gonna create this a different way. We're gonna use the move tool plus option on a Mac or control on a PC. We're gonna copy this line up. We could type in 78 inches or we could press the up arrow, lock in the blue axes and just infer to our height over here. Once again, take push pull, push pull that through, and then eraser to erase your edges. Same thing here, move copy, 78, push pull, and then eraser. Really the key to make this go quickly is to use your keyboard shortcuts. I always keep my left hand on home row, so my left hand's on ASDF on the keyboard. The reason why I do that is a lot of the tools are coming right off of there. So you have R for rectangle, E for erase, T for tape measure. More importantly, you have shift and option that you'll frequently go to in your left hand there that you can use. Also, spacebar is the select tool. That's a good one to always use your thumb on and click on. Now these two doors, I'm just going to take the select tool, select these two lines with shift, 
Now I use move plus option and bring this up 78 inches. Push pull, which is P. Double click and then E for erase. You can quickly cut these out and clean these up. So we have all the openings now completed. We're just going to do a little bit more cleanup. And next, I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can organize this model. So that includes using field of view to zoom and actually be able to view your model a little bit easier. It includes hide rest of model, the outliner, using layers, and creating scenes.